We've looked at line discounts. Now we'll have a look at invoice discounts. Invoice discounts are applied to the whole invoice as opposed to individual lines on an order. Uh, the total amount of the invoice is discounted by whatever the value of the invoice discount is. So we'll have a look at setting this up. To set up an invoice discount for a customer, we'll need to first go to the customer list and open our customer card. For this example, we'll be looking at the Canon Group. And uh, under the invoicing tab, there is a field called invoice discount code. By default, this is set to the current customer's customer number, which you can see in the top left here is 10,000 here as well, set to 10,000 in the invoice discount code. We can set this to a different customer's number if we wish to, uh, if that customer has already been set up with invoice discount conditions that we want to copy to this customer. Uh, alternatively, we can use a pre-existing invoice discount code. In the ribbon at the top here, under Navigate, Prices and Discounts, and Invoice Discounts, it opens up the Customer Invoice Discounts page. In the currency code field, we can specify a currency if we wish to uh, allow invoice discounts on a specific currency. Um, leaving it blank will instruct Business Central to use the local currency, which is what we'll do here. The minimum amount is similar in principle to the minimum quantity, as it dictates how much the customer must have totaled at a minimum for the discount to apply. For this, we'll specify 1,500. And the discount percentage is the percentage that will be used to discount the invoice amount when used. So we'll apply a 4% discount here. And uh, finally, we have the service charge field, which is an opportunity for us to charge the customer a value dependent on whether the customer hits the amount in the minimum amount field, meaning that the service charge will apply when the invoice discount applies. And for this, we'll enter a value of 10. With these changes committed, uh, we'll go to setting up the order for this. So we go to our list of sales orders and create a new one for our customer 10,000, the Canon Group. So this order will be for our item 1900S. And uh, I'll draw your attention to the unit price, which shows its current original unit price, which is 115.5. And that's based on our previous interactions with the price, which has actually been adjusted by the sales price worksheet in a previous module. If we then enter our quantity that, we, that our customer is looking to buy, which in this case will be 15, you'll notice the unit price has been updated. And that's because in our previous modules, we've also set up sales prices, which dictate when the customer, this specific customer has bought more than 10 of this particular item, the unit price will be 100. You'll also notice that this has taken our total to 1500, and our invoice discount has not yet been applied. This is because our settings in the sales and receivables setup does not allow for this to be done automatically. Uh, we can have a look at this now in our sales and receivables setup. And if I go to show more in this general field, you'll notice a field here called calculate invoice discount. Now, uh, if this was ticked, the, then Business Central would calculate the invoice discount on the order automatically and we could move forwards. However, I'll leave this unticked for the time being as we might not always want Business Central to automatically calculate the invoice discount. In this particular instance, we do. And to get that done, we can go to Actions, Functions, and Calculate Invoice Discount. We say yes to the prompt. And you can see it's now pulled through the invoice discount percentage of 4% that we set up earlier. Alongside this, there's now a GL account entry on the sales, or sales lines, which shows a service charge for £10. With this all set up, we can then move on to invoicing this as is necessary.